What's going on people? I want to make a response video to a video that was just posted by a YouTuber that goes by the name of Baba Rashan Live. The title of his video is I Believe in Divine Truth, Divine Righteousness, and Divine Order. What I've noticed among certain YouTubers that claim to be righteous, they love to use certain words because unfortunately, words sell among the so-called black community. If you come up with a word or mention certain words, it triggers the mind of certain black YouTubers, and you will get their support. So if I create videos that talk about divine masculinity, divine femininity, divine order, uh, energy, and all of these, what they call spiritual words, I would get feedback where people would tell me that I'm deep and that I'm telling the truth. I just need to mention righteousness and truth and justice for melanated people. And I will have a host of followers. But I'm not attacking this brother. I want to make it perfectly clear that this is not a personal attack on Baba Rashan. A true righteous person will accept correction. A true righteous person will accept righteous correction. Because righteousness and divine order is not according to the words that you speak to yourself. I'm aware that there's so many people think that if you speak positivity, positivity will happen to you. That you have to speak a certain way to manifest things in your life. But things are manifested through you, through your works, through your actions, through the things you do by your thoughts and by your deeds. So I'm going to play a portion of his video. And I want you to listen to the number of times that he mentioned divine. Now, the point, the main point that I want to make is the fact that he reject the most high. He rejects the most high. He referred to the most high as a sky daddy. See, that's the catch right there. Because if he lives a righteous lifestyle, if you live according to the Most High's divine order, there's really no need for you to say that you are righteous. Because according to the Bible, none is righteous. No, not one. Again, the Bible says, none is righteous. No, not one. So for you to refer to yourself as righteous, right there you are against divine order. You strive to be righteous. Every day that you wake up, you have an opportunity to do better than you did yesterday. How do you treat your neighbors? How do you treat your own family, your elders, your children, your wives, those that do you wrong? How do you react to those things? Do you act in a righteous manner? Or do you act as a thug? Can you tame your tongue? Now, according to the Bible, the tongue is an unruly member that cannot be tamed. 
But when you have, or better yet, when you're filled with the Most High's righteous Holy Spirit, he would clean that tongue up. There's no need for you to use cuss words to get your point across. See, if you're righteous, there's certain words that don't even come to your mind because you have self-control, which happens to be one of the fruit of the Spirit. Is self-control. So if you have a filthy mouth. And you can't control your temper. That's an issue that you need to work on. That is not an example of righteousness. Again, it's not about what you say. It's about how you live. What you do in your everyday life. See, I can get on the internet and pretend to be something I'm not. But the people around me, especially your children that live in the house that you live in or that come to visit you if they're grown. Or your grandchildren that's being raised in this type of society. They see you. And you as an elder, as a grandparent, is supposed to set that example. So how do your grandchildren view you? How do your great-grandchildren view you? What would they say about you? And be honest about it. So when it comes to righteousness, it's how you live your life. The Bible says that we are the light of the world. But according to him, he's against those that are supposed to be the light of the world, the so-called Christians. Or those that believe in what he calls the sky daddy. Listen to what he says. And then you... Make your judgments from there. Family, this video is going to be about a lot of people say I'm this, that, the other, what I believe in, you know, what my religion is, and this, that, and the other. I'm pro righteousness, a pro divine righteousness, a pro divine truth. I believe in telling the truth. I believe in being righteous. I don't believe in telling lies. I don't believe in getting over anyone. I believe in the divine truth that comes from the divine creator and our divine ancestors. That's the only thing I believe in. Truth, righteousness, and knowledge. Being a free thinker. That being programmed by somebody such as the news media, other kind things. I believe in righteousness, divine righteousness, divine truth, and divine order. Case closed. He struggles to convince himself that he's righteous. You cannot be pro-righteousness without the Most High. You can't be pro-truth and divine truth without the Most High. He mentions his ancestors, so are those the one that you're worshiping? And like I mentioned in a prior video, who are your ancestors? Are they the ones that you see every day or the ones that you know that passed away, that's a part of your bloodline? Are those the ancestors you're referring to? Or are you referring to the people that you don't know when you were told that you were from Africa? Who are those blood-related ancestors? 
that you're always giving homage to. So you can't be divine. I don't care how many flowery words you use. Truth, righteousness, divine order, and all of this nonsense. If you're not living right, then you're going to bust hell wide open. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.